Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Humble Nazarene, June 7. And Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. John 1.46 In humility, Christ began his mighty work for the uplifting of the fallen race. Passing by the cities and the renowned seats of learning, he made his home in the humble and obscure village of Nazareth. In this place, from which it was commonly supposed that no good could come, the world's Redeemer passed the greater part of his life working at his trade as a carpenter. His home was among the poor. His family was not distinguished by learning, riches, or position. In the path which the poor, the neglected, the sorrowing must tread, he walked while on earth, taking upon him all the woes which the afflicted must bear. It was the proud boast of the Jews that the Messiah was to come as a king, conquering his enemies and treading down the heathen in his wrath. But it was not the mission of Christ to exalt men and women by ministering to their pride. He, the humble Nazarene, might have poured contempt upon the world's pride, for he was commander of the heavenly courts. But he came in humility, showing that it is not riches or position or authority that the God of heaven respects, but that he honors a humble, contrite heart made noble by the powers of the grace of Christ. Christ closed his life of toil and denial in our behalf by a crowning sacrifice for us. Christ is a living Savior. Today, he sits at the right hand of God as our advocate, making intercession for us. He calls upon us to look unto him and be saved. But it has ever been the tempter's determined purpose to eclipse Jesus from the view that we may be led to lean upon the arm of humanity for help and strength. And he has so well accomplished his purpose that we, turning our eyes from Jesus, in whom all hope of eternal life is centered, look to our fellow human beings for aid and guidance. As the serpent was lifted up in the wilderness by Moses, that all who had been bitten by the fiery serpents might look and live, so must the Son of Man be lifted up before the world by his servants. Further reflection, how do I resist the pull of the world's temptations to power, wealth, and fame? 